47 Tunavuma na bado Hapa ndipo Mikiki ya sporti Tarifa za michezo Tetesi za uhamisho I cannot hide that uh, is my dream Mahujiano mapevu na matangazo mubashara ya soka Dakika ikiwa inayeyuka 19 baada ya saa moja usiku ndani ya Radio 47 kipindi chako ni mikiki ya sport kipindi ambacho kiko yawani Jumamosi kuanzia mida ya saa kumi hadi saa mbili inamaanisha kwamba tu katika mkondo wa mwisho katika kipindi na basi siko peke yangu e, niko na mwenzangu Lucky Ariano uh, Ariano unaona vile Manchester leo kidogo wameponea hata pumzi e, naona wameponea ponea eh hey, wanapiga kakelele kwenye mtandao Ah, Arocho sisi tumarudi. Kiburi FC. Brentford. Hey. Aya, tuko na mgeni msikilizaji uh, anaitwa Opati. Uh, ambaye ametueleza kuhusu yale ambaye amepitia hasa kule Afghanistan. Na Opati labda kwa faida msikilizaji, uh, maisha imekuwa vipi tokia uh, tangia tukio hilo na nimekuwa nikikuona ukipiga gumzo. Ne, maala kadhaa nimekuwa nimeongea kule Ulaya umeongea sana e, ukiongea ile motivational speaking mm. na hasa inakusaidia vipi wewe kama mwathiriwa wakati unapoongea na kujieleza kuhusu yale ambayo umepitia kitu ile sana sana inanisaidia ni bado sasa hivi niko na hiyo war post traumatic stress disorder mm. lakini ndo mimi nifike hapa mali niko kwanza ilibidi nikubali ndo niweze kupata medical treatment kutoka kwa psychiatrist. Mm-hmm. Na ni kama tu kitu yote kwa kimaisha. Usipokubali kitu unapitia. Mhm. Uko in denial, utawai toka kwa hiyo situation. Mm-hmm. Lazima ukubali acceptance. Lazima ukubali useme okay, hapa ndo niko. Nimefika hapa. Eh, wacha nitafute solution ya kujitoa. Ya kujitoa ni juu vile ndaelekea mbele. Huyu sakati suliongea naye baada ya mdagani. Maana kulisema session zako za mwanzo huko anaongea ulikuwa naingia. The, the first two months kuongea naye. Na ulikuwa unaenda session how long? Almost 45 to 1 hour every day. Na nilikuwa tunakaa, tunaangaliana, time yeah. yangu inaisha naondoka naye. Mtie anazungumza wewe uzungumzi? Ah ah akuwa anazungumza. Mhm. Uh-huh. Mnaangaliana tu. Yeah. Kila siku. Mm. Kila S- siku. Sasa uliongea yes. baada. Uh-huh. Ni kabla niondoke ananiambia wewe kumbuka mimi niko tu hapa. Ile oh. siku utakuwa tayari ku 45 minutes mnanyamaza. Yeah, Ikifika unamwambia kumbuka niko hapa. Yeye yeah, mwenyewe ndo ananiambia. Wewe mjibu nini? Ah, kuna. Naamka tu natoka naenda. Eh, hey. but ile siku nilikubali kuanza kuongea. Kitu ilinifanya nianze kuongea nilikuja nikajiambia huyu jamaa kuna patience na mimi. For two months sijawahi ongea. Na hajawahi complain kabla niondoke na niambia we kumbuka ukitaka usaidizi niko hapa. Hiyo ndio kitu ilinipatia confidence kuongea naye kwa sababu ni mtu alinionyesha yuko patient na mimi. Mm, na kutakia mazuri. E. Na goal lako hili mm. ulivalishwa baada ya muda gani? E, ni process. Mm-hmm, ni process kwa sababu lazima uanze kufunzwa kutembea kama mtoto mdogo. Mm. So kuna miguu tofauti kuna ile mguu ya kwanza unapewa ya kujifundisha kutembea mm-hmm. inaitwa KXO6 KXO6 hiyo e, <laughs> tu ni ya kufundisha kulan vile utaondoka kwa hiyo sasa ndo unapewa the advanced leg hii niko nayo sasa yuko nayo sababu niko nayo ndo the advanced leg mm-hmm. na i control na simu niko na apps kwa simu una control vipi sasa tuseme kwa mfano nikitaka kufanya cycling na i change mode kwa cycling E, e. E, nikitaka kwenda kufanya skiing vile nenda kufanya skiing December na change to skiing na fanya skiing. Sasa unaingia kwa simu tunabonyeza skiing. E, una change mode. Unaona Oja, kwa hivyo it is controlled by the phone. Yes. Iko kwa app. Yes. Manake ulipoingia hapa ndani ya Cape Media uh, wale uh, wenzetu ambao walipokea. U, walikupokea. Uh, moja akaniambia mgeni ameingia lakini ananiambia uh, atahitaji namna ya ku Mm. Uh, kupanda ngazi lakini kashanga ah rafiki yangu upati huwa hahitaji usaidizi mm. lakini nadhani nilimuelewa kwa sababu hakuwa na hakuwa na hakuwa na kujua hakuwa naelewa mm. vile mambo inavyoenda sasa hili guli na gharimu pesa ngapi <laughs> ni pesa nyingi 
Wacha tuseme hivyo. Mm, Maana wewe unasema ina zamani yake. Maana yake kuna mali naenda. Yeah. Uh, hii trauma mm. ni expensive. Mm. Na the process ambayo umepitia ni very expensive. Mm. Nataka msikizaji aweze kuelewa kwa sababu mara nyingi tuna kusema maafisa wa polisi ama maafisa wa jeshi mm. ambao wanaenda kuhudumia nchi. Wengine mm. juzi wameenda Zaire, siju alienda Somalia. Wanapurudi wakati mwingine tunashindwa kama nchi kuwashughulikia. Hmm. Nasema hivyo kwa sababu hili gulako sio gharama ndogo. Hmm. Ndio uweze kujikimu kimaisha sio gharama ndogo. Hmm. Hospitali yako upati sio pesa mbili. Hmm. Umenipata. Na ndio maana unapata uliposema hapo awali kwamba kuna maafisa wa polisi ambao wakati mwingine wanachukua They, they take their lives sama wanaji wanaji wanapiga bunduki anaua mkewe mkewe anaua hata kiongozi wao pale kwenye mm. kwenye kambi naongea na wao ili waweze kuelewa kwamba inawezekana mm. na hii pia naongea na serikali kwa sababu lazima ukamshughulikia mtu wako ambaye alikuwa na alienda kazi akapata ajali in line of duty yes lazima mshughulikie mm. ndio maana nataka niweze kujua gharama hii yote mm. ilichukuliwa na nani na Maisha kwa vipi sasa? Uh, alhamdulillah mimi nashukuru maisha yangu iko sawa. Mm. Kwa sababu kuna mtu yuko wasko niliko. Mimi niko na marafiki ambao arocho hata sehemu zao za kukojoa hawana through bomb blast. Mm. O maafisa kama wewe. Eh. Kule UK. Eh, UK ni ma double amputee, triple amputee. Hey. What do you mean triple amputee? Triple amputee I mean you've lost your two legs and you're an anam. Oh, mpaka mkono mmoja. Mpaka mkono mmoja. Wow. Lakini tukikaa nao ukiona ile furaha wako nayo. Nasema you are better yani, off. Yaani mwenyewe utajiangalia utashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Mm. Mbona? Ndio. Na mimi nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu hii kitendo ilinifanyikia nchi ambayo imenishughulikia kila kitu. Mm-hmm. Hospitali mimi silipi chochote lakini ngekuwa hapa Kenya stoi pesa yangu kwa mfuko kununua prosthetic leg niko na prosthetic leg tatu mpaka niko na moja shower leg moja prosthetic ya kuoga moja, moja, moja pesa ngapi tu e, kwa rafli gharama tu hivi nini rafli inaweza kuwa pesa ngapi rafli tunaongelea about 8 10 million the advanced leg million kumi. Hiyo ni moja jamani amesema yuko na tatu mm. ile unaongelea the highest unaweza pata ni around 15 million eh hey. Sasa hii na CRT mimi na believe eh, kila nchi wakiwa na maskari wanafaa watunze ndio mm-hmm. hapo ndo nilikuwa naenda eh, wanafaa watunze lakini sasa ikikuja kwa nchi nilizaliwa Kenya sijui mambo ya serikali sijui mambo ya politics sijui chochote kwa sababu kumbuka mimi nilitoka Kenya ni 2006 na bado naishi UK mm-hmm. so siwezi ingilia mambo ya Sinaf- hapa ya hapa uelewi mm. na sifahamu manake umeniambia unaenda skiing skiing mm. ndio nini na nani wanagaramia hii skiing yako unaenda uh, w- w- government ya UK ndio inagaramia so huko tuko na hata association inaitwa blazma inachunga veterans wote ambao wameumia kwa wo unaelewa yeah. Na unakulipa mshahara wako wewe? Eh mshahara wangu mimi nalipo for the rest of my life kwa sababu nili Ule ule ulikuwa napata ama labda uliongezea kitu juu. Hawanaongezea kitu juu. Maana yake unajua kwamba tukio lake ama kupata mko wake it was in line of duty. Si kwamba alikuwa ameenda mambo yake ushaona. Mm. Mm. Na kwa yule kijana anakusikia. Mm. Maana yake najua mm. wengi wanakusikia na labda uh, umewagusa wengi mm. eh, na yale ambayo umetueleza. Ni yapi ambayo unaweza kueleza? Sasa kijana mdogo ambaye anakusikia labda anaona kwamba maisha yake haitoweza uh, kukamilika. Ama labda kuna afisa wa polisi ambaye labda alipata jeraha, ama afisa wa jeshi, ama vile mchezaji. Ama mchezaji ambaye alipata jeraha. Mm. Maana hapa nyumbani mm. kuna wachezaji ambao wameumia hata timu ya taifa Arabi Stars. Sasa hivyo wapo wamefurugika kubwa wa sana. Mm. Tulikuwa na mchezaji mmoja alikuwa anachezea Gor Mahia sita mtaja. Aliumia akichezea timu ya taifa. Yaani ilibidi ajitibu na ile hali shirikisho serikali pesa ipo yeah. sio kwamba pesa unajua tukiwa ni nchi kama Somalia kwa mfano ama Djibouti ama inaitwaje Chad ambayo labda hawana senti utasema 
lakini hii ni nchi ambayo senti ipo mm. pia kueleza labda kuwapatia uh, kuinua motisha yao kabla ya kuchukua simu mm, alafu mm. tuchukua simu maana kwa maswali ambayo maswali yanakuja kitu ya kwanza tukianza na mpira eh, nilikuwa game ya nimeenda ma game kadhaa mm -hmm. na mimi kitu ambayo inaniuma ni niliacha mpira 2006 kabla niende mm. tuko 2023 mm. hakuna kitu yote imebadilika Kasarani ni ile ile Nyayo Stadium ni ile ile Ay, City Stadium ni ile ile Atokarabati juzi tulifanya Hakuna akun, chochote Kwanza game Upa. ya Rambe Stars na South Sudan Nilikuwa very disappointed Mgajo Na mimi nikajiuliza swali moja Nataka Hata ile speaker Ya kutangaza mchezaji ya naingia hey, microphone. Yani Si ukone, microphone ukone, Speaker tu Ukuone yo speaker mpia tulinunua juzi Speaker Ugo, lakini mulukwa mbiye kapande gani Speaker inafai face mafan Haifai face kiwanja Mafan do wanafawa juwe Wajwe ni mchezaji Nani ya naingia na, 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 na nani ya natoka Scoreboard ya kasarani Yata ifanya Angoja Apo apo tuko scoreboard Subiri kidogo Sawa bwana Tuko na Kenyan International. Mchezaji mimi niliona na macho yangu. Mm. Ako na bibi yake ameka kwa stairs. VIP. Mchezaji ambayo mimi nimeona na macho yangu. Na sasa mimi nauliza hivi. Kuna afu kuna etale jamani. Wacha tuseme tu kwa. Endelea etale endelea. Mpira ya Kenya. Arocho wakisema mchochezi endelea. Aa, mpira ya Kenya. Mm. Ikuna shida. Na mimi unajua kitu moja mimi usema. If you put greed be, before productivity there will never be productivity. And when I say greed you know what I mean by greed. Mm -hmm. Let's stop focusing on the money. Let's focus on producing Wajan. fast. Wacha nikulize swali pati. Mm -hmm. Yaani huoni development yote ya mpira hapa kwetu. Hakuna. Hakuna development yote Goja. ya Kenya. Juzi ushawahi mara ya mwisho umesikia Rambe Stars wamekwama kwa airport ama labda wamekosa kulala. Arocho. Yeah. Development na productivity mm. si mambo na kusikia wachezaji wamelala kwa airport mm. ni mambo na kuangalia if your house is in order ni mambo na kuangalia selection ya wachezaji Nikona ni wewe. haki mm. ukiangalia sahi ya rocho mpira ya kitambo ilikuwa na ladha kuliko mpira ya hapo niko na wewe true you are very true my brother mpira ya kitambo ilikuwa na ladha kuliko haikuwa na pesa lakini kulikuwa na ladha e, lakini ilikuwa na ladha mm. saa hii haina ladha kwa nini wachezaji hata ukiwaangalia saa hii mchezaji akitoka akiingia kwa gari ama akitoka aende mazoezi unaweza dhani huyu mchezaji amefanya vitu nyingi sana for the country mbona mm. mm. na mimi kitu moja mimi usema ni mpira lazima tuanzie chini lazima tukuwe na system lazima tukuwe na system ambayo tuko na under 17 under 17 na produce wachezaji wana graduate wanaenda under 20 under 20 na toa wachezaji wana graduate wanaenda under 23 23 under 23 wana graduate wana feed wa national Senior team club, mimi ni mwana wachezaji Harambe Stars wanaitwa na coach hata hajawahi ona wakicheza club zao arocho ni kuulize swali leo mm. unaonanga english premier league ndio si ndio ndio mm -hmm. Mnajua benchi ya England ya ya makochi ya national team ndio ya national team mm. mara ngapi umeona Gareth Southgate ana watch match ana watch match mara kadhaa mm. lakini nyamaza ngoja tu kwanza anaenda mali mimi usema endelea endelea si ndio ni kuongezea speaker endelea yeah. mara ngapi umeona mm. mingi sana hakosi mechi kwa mfano last weekend mm. alikuwa anaona game ya Man City ndio akatoka game ya Man City akaenda game ya wapi game ya Burnley mm. ame travel gembili ma assistant coach wake wako hizo game zingine ndio yani kuna watu wako delegated kufanya kazi to produce the best to wear that national team jersey kweli right ndio ndio hmm? nikuulize swali mm. kenya mm. right now ndio the coach mm. right mm. <laughs> kitu inaniuma zaidi hmm. tuko na a lot of resources ya ex international players where if our house was on, on in order 
we would get these X players not to languish in poverty, but to make sure that our Kenyan football is going somewhere. For example, Nikupatia tu for example. Mm, niko na wewe. Eh? Mm, leo mbona nimenyamaza? Tuko na kifa cha nakuwa njani eh? Mm. Tuko na goalkeepers tuseme kwa mfano Arnold Origi, mm -hmm. Francis Onyiso, Duncan Ocheng. Duncan Ocheng. Ah ni watu ambao wanakuwa delegated endeni tembeni Kenya. You look for the best talent ya yeah, keepers. We start grooming them from the academies. From the academies. We go to defense. We have the likes of Muso Tieno. Muso Tieno. Mhm. Mm Right? Mm -hmm. We have the likes of Alfred Chege. Chege, yes. We have the likes of Ezekiel Akwana. Ezekiel Akwana. Philip Opio. Yeah, Sami Omolo. Yeah, Pamzo. We get a delegation. Okay, you look for the best defenders in the country. Ndiyo. We go to the midfield. We e have Jamal Mohamed. Edward Karanja. Edward Karanja. Yeah. We have so much that we can do that we can see our football going somewhere. Ujongia kusu strikers. Atujafika ata kwa strikers. Dennis Oliech. Dennis Oliech. McDonald Mariga. Mac yani tukona abundant resource. resource. But do you know what is killing our Kenyan football? Mm. You say greedy? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's what? Uh -huh. Niko nauliza tuswani. Uh -huh. He said greedy does what? Productivity. No, this is what I said. Uh -huh. You're putting greed before provert productivity and mm. what do i mean by greed people are focusing on the money exactly than the productivity true nakupata upati niko na wewe sahi kuna wachezaji walicheza rambe stars sahi 15 years ago hawajalipo allowance yao true or false ni kweli niko na wewe bwana niko na wewe game ya kenya na south sudan wacha tufike hapo mm Eh? Mm. Yaani wale wachezaji tulikuwa na wewe uwanjani. Eh, wale wachezaji hata wakukua. Wale walikuwa wametolewa kwa ile the final squad. Mm. Kwa, kwa, after provision squad wakatolewa. Eh, walikuwa wanazuiwa kuingia kwa gate. Nikiona na macho yangu hivi. Mimi huwa nasema hapa wewe unaniita mchochezi. So, mimi ndio upate. Eh, upate endelea. Niliona mm. na macho yangu. Endelea upate. Yaani mchezaji a former player anasimamishwa mtu amechezea harambe anasimamishwa kwa gate anaambiwa wewe usinge na ngoja upati kwa faida hey. msikizaji wewe hmm. unaishi wapi sasa mimi naishi united kingdom so wewe ni mgeni eh hey, mimi ni mgeni endelea upati umenielewa mm. yaani zile vitu naona najiuliza hii ni mpira gani where are we going the money is there na wacha mimi leo niseme hii mambo ya vikundi Uyu wako na iki kundi, uyu wako na iki kundi, uyu wako na elfu mbili, uyu wako na elfu tatu. It will corrupt your mind for you to make the right decision. Kweli. It will cloud your judgment. Kweli, kweli upati. But at the same time, do you blame these players? Au watu wanapewa hiyo 2,000, 3,000? Do you blame them? No. no because... I don't blame them. Because we don't have a system that is able to cater for even our legends in the game. Wacha ni kupati mfano. Kenya watu wanapenda English Premier League tuko na kefu. Ne 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 wacha kusumbua upati upati endelea. Mimi nimeuliza tu tuko na kefu. Ah subiri kidogo hata tusiende kefu. Mm. Wale watu wako kefu ni marafiki zangu lakini bado let's call a spade a spade. Ndio. Umenielewa? Ndio. Mm. Let's stop thinking about our stomachs and think about this place. You were once a player. If you were once a player in the country, you need to realize that the best thing that we can do is to make sure these players who are upcoming, uh, the younger generation, they don't suffer like the way we suffer. That is true. That is one. Two, we need to make sure at least we go somewhere. We do something with the football in Kenya. You can't say you love football, but back in, at the back of your mind, all you're thinking about is the money. Mm -hmm. Kind of, yani just leave a legacy. Yes. Hapo naongea kwa watu wa kefo. Manake mara nyingi, vitu vina tendeka home skis tu makiongea. Yeye, iko comfort zone. Havaye masuti zake nyeupe. Nakupo kwa lakati mulikuwa, ulikuwa mkosoa. Mimi, mimi nilikuwa na mkosoa fanya uchaguzi ya mefanya. Lakini mimi umuliza, nani, stuma. Why are you the chairman of kefo? Na uongei, bwana. Unasikia watiezaji kama muroni, unasikia wajalipua. Maafisa wa jeshi. Ulinzi stars. Hawa ulinzi stars hawa. Kuna wachezaji wale civilians hawajalipwa huja mm. why the office rafiki yangu James Tuma kiongea na nikwambie ni kwa nini mm. fear There's, it's not about fear it's about it's about protecting yourself yeah. usikusane na mtu 
protecting yourself because you know where you are wewe unapata pesa yako uko sawa uko sawa asante upati utaki kutetea wachezaji wengine A, asante fanya umona. kazi according to what you've been selected to do mhm umeona na ile shida kubwa mimi nimeona sisi hapa Kenya ni kukosa kuambia na ukweli Kweli. ukiambia mtu we umefanya hii makosa anaona we ni adui wake hapana na maisha sisi sote ni binadamu na ndio maana hawanipendi mimi hey, ndio sipendi hata ndugu yangu Jamal Mohamed hawampendi kwa sababu Jamal anasema Mohamed ukweli. anasema ukweli hapo sasa nambari ya simu msikilizaji ni 0793047047 unasikia kitu upati anasema ameongea kutu safari yake ya kandanda hapa Kenya akaelekea kule Afghanistan bomi kamlipukia lakini Maulana akamshikilia ni wakati wako kuweza kuliza swali kama unapendekezwa na pia kama una wazo e, tukimalizia malizia kipindi 0793047047 hello radio 47 aracho ye baba salimia la kiariano hapo mambo skari Alex Van Passi nikiwa na kuru milimani. Karibu sana Van Passi. Unasikia masaibu ambayo amepitia upati? Mimi naona upati amepitia masaibu mengi sana. Mm. Sasa niko hata kuuliza Mr. Upati na yeye hivi. Ndio. Yeah. Hii uongozi ya Nick Mwenda anaweza ipatia asilimia ya ngapi? Okay. Hiyo ni swali ya nani? Ya mtu wa eh hey, Cameroon. Mtu wa Cameroon ama ni mtu wa Kenya? Acha <laughs> <laughs> tuchukue swali kama nne tano kwa jumla afu tajibu amekuuliza hey. uongozi wa kandanda kwa sasa e, chini ya uongozi wake Nick Mwendwa. Wewe unaiona vipi na utawapatia asilimia ngapi? Hello Radio 47. Jamana teremka hapo. Nambari yetu ya mawasiliano kama kawa 0793047047. Tupatie wazo lako na kama una swali wakati ndio huu. Hello Radio 47. Hello Kostele. Sema nasi. Hello. Eh, hey, nakupata nani mwenzetu? Ai. Hmm? Oh, jamaa ama ni shabiki wa Arsenal ameingia baridi hii kesho ah, Arsenal anaingia baridi sasa ni mapema sana ukionanga United ameshinda Chelsea ameshinda wanajua kuna kichapo <laughs> hello radio 47 hello radio 47 ni Juma karibu sana Juma nikiwa Belgrade mimi nataka niulize mgeni swali ndio kulingana na hii uongozi wa Nick Mbembe mm mimi nataka tu nijue uchaguzi itafanyika lini juu mimi sibambiki kabisa na na hii uongozi wa Nick Mwendwa na sasa upati sio president wa FKF atakujibuaje sikio atajisema nataka kuvisimama yeye alikuwa anaongea ku ama umemuelewa vipi ndio nataka nijue ana 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 maoni gani atasimama ama itakuwaaje okay atakujibu eh okay yani watu na wafiki upate anataka kusimama atatueleza eh? kama yuko uwanjani atatueleza <laughs> eh, hello radio 47 hello hello radio 47 sema nasi hello radio 47 karibu sana ah ni benson kutoka taifa mimi ni sayamu nje mmm naweza mgeni na vina ndio jamani kama yuko maeneo yeah. ambayo simu yake kidogo ina tatizo ya nyungu nyungu hivi ndani ya nyungu 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 unajua ndio network inakuwa shida <laughs> e, tupatie wazo lako msikilizaji chukue simu nyingine hapa hello radio 47 hello radio 47 sema nasi nani mwenzetu dickson hapa hivi kutoka maeneo ya rungai karibu sana dickson uko na swali kwake upati umemmsikia anavongea Uh, nimemmsikia kabisa la ningependa tu kumuhimiza endelee kusema tu maneno ya ukweli kwa sababu kweli ndio utaweza kukuza mpira wetu wa Kenya. Okay, asante sana kwa mchango wako. Wewe pia nichukue swali nyingine ya mwisho. Ndio. Eh, Alafu tujumuishe. Eh, nambari yetu ya simu ni 0793047047. Hello, Radio 47. Hello, Radio 47. Sema nasi. Huyu ni Benao Hiru. Karibu sana Bena. Mimi nasema hivi. Naam. Wapati amesema ukweli manake mpira wa Kenya. Mm. Hakuna mali umepatilika. Okay. 
iko tu pale pale. Hauna swali yote kuhusu maisha yake vile alivyokuwa kule Afghanistan na hayo. <laughs> maisha yake kwa katika maisha yake ndio. Ai mimi nampongeza ni mwanaume kupitia maneno kama hiyo. Ni mwanamme? Ai. <laughs> yaani unasema sisi wengine si wanaume. <laughs> 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 Haya, upati. Mm. Unajua wa Kenya wanapenda sana mambo ya uchaguzi. Mm. Na tuko tunaongea vizuri kuhusu maisha yako, umesafiri mm. Afghanistan, nini matukio. Lakini unaona sasa kila mtu anaanza kuingia. Upati unasimama? <laughs> Hata ningetaka siyesimama. Kwa nini? Mi life yangu sasa iko imechukua direction tofauti. Mm. Mimi naweza nataka tu kusaidia ama vijana. Mm. Mm. Okay. Kazi yangu ni ku kuinspire na ku motivate. Okay. Ama mental health advocate. Mhm. Mm Umona. Kwa hivyo direction yangu ya kimaisha tofauti. Tofauti sana. Mm. Na mambo ya mpira lakini ile tu kusema ukweli mambo nyingi nafaa kubadilika na watu wanafaa wache kufikiria pesa pesa ndio inamaliza kila kitu na ubinafsi e, mimi ni arocho mm. sababu namjua laki namjua upati wako hapa mm. wale wengine si watu wetu wakae huko alo radio 47 arocho ni baba eh wewe ni machavu wa, wa kutoka serem county ya vihiga karibu sana eh pole sana kwa hiyo jamaa kwa mazaibu ambaye alipitia ndio lakini nataka tu ya Rocho Kenya inafaa iangalia wachezaji wae wakilipo badala ya, ya kutafuta kazi wakiangaika wawe tu kazi yao ni kwenda kiwanjani na kurudi kwa sababu tunapoteza wakati mwingi mtu anaangaika kutafuta ajira mm. ili aweze kujidumu sasa unaona serikali yetu inafaa ichukue wachezaji kama Warambe Stars waweke kwa payro okay wacha tutamtafuta waziri okay. wa michezo tukae naye ndani ya studio tumpatie changamoto ambazo tunapitia. Asante, huyu ni machafu kutoka Serem. Karibu sana machafu, nichukue simu ya mwisho. Maana yake naona muda haukuna si. Dakika mm. sita hiyo baada ya saa moja usiku ndani ya Radio 47. Nambari yote ya simu kama kawa 0793047047. Hello, Radio 47. Hello. Ye baba. Ye baba. Karibu sana. Mimi ni Wesley kutoka Baringo. Karibu sana Wesley. Naona hiyo maneno hiyo jamaa. Mm. Napongeza ya kwanza. Ndiyo. Ya pili. Ndiyo. Nauliza yeye. Mm. Hello Wesley. Ai nani anyang'anya Wesley simu sele. Hello Radio 47. Ai. Hello. Eh hey, nani mwenzetu? Lainazo ya malembe Karibu sana malembe Hei hey. Simu zao zinachukuli watu Na uh, <laughs> upati La mwisho uh, Uki malizia uki malizia uh, Labda ukiaga msikizaji Unanini ya kumweleza Na kwa haya yote ambayo umepitia Kimaisha mm. Umejifunza nini Tuanze na E, labda wazo kwa, kwa msikilizaji alafu mwisho nataka nieleze haya yote umepitia Afghanistan umeenda Baghdad umekuwa unabebea una um, waalifu bunduki kuna kitu lazima umejifunza kama binadamu kwa msiri hiyo <laughs> <laughs> ni yako la Kiariano wewe wewe ndio upate ah mimi kwa mfano kwa mtazamo wangu <laughs> Hai, baba bundu hii miaka yote miaka miwili. Ah, ai si mchezo baba. Si mchezo baba. Inahitaji roho. Nini ume umejifunza? Life zote ni mbili tofauti. Mhm. Mm Nikiwa kijana ndo ni kuja nipate kazi e, British Army. Eh, hiyo nilijifunza kitu ya kwanza ni wewe mwenyewe kwa maisha unafaa ujichagulie kitu kitu ambayo itakusaidia uweze kuwa mtu kwa hii society ndio na yani kitu imenifundisha pia ni kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu ndio mm. kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu mm. maana amekushikilia sana katika mm. 
uh, yale yote ambayo umetueleza mm. na mimi kwanza na kushukuru sana kuweza kuwa nasi ulikuja mapema sana ndani ya studio uh, uka, kawa na sisi tukitangaza mechi umekuwa mvumilivu na na, na, na imani kwamba wakenya wamejifunza mengi sana kupitia yale ambayo umetueleza manake mimi mmenigusa mimi rafiki yako na kuna mingine ambayo usikuwa unajua kukuhusu na sasa ni mnafahamu kuhusu rafiki yangu opati wacha uh, tupate uh, bidokezo alafu uh, tuweze kurejea tena manake tukimalizia malizia hapa <laughs> ni mambo mazito Vidokezo vya matukio kwa ufupi Mwanaume afariki dunia baada ya kujitia kitanzi huko na mbale e, Na mingine ni kwamba wakazi mpakani mwa Kenya na Uganda wazidi kulalamika Kulalamikia wizi wa mifugo Hayo na mingi zaidi Atakuwa naingia hapa e, Bamdogo e, Wadi Atakuwa na kueleza hayo na mingi zaidi Itakaputimia mida ya sambili usiku Vidokezo vya matukio kwa ufupi Dakika ikiwa inasalia tisa kutimia saa mbili usiku kipindi chako cha mikiki ya spoti Huwa ewani kuanzia mida ya saa kumi hadi saa mbili Inamaanisha kwa mbani wakati wetu wa kuwaga Laki ariano, mm. ena ono me, leo meguswa zile hekaya hekaya zako leo hauna Mimi sinaga hekaya, wewe mwenye hekaya Mimi sinaga hekaya, wewe mwenye hekaya mimi sina kati na kama opati amekugusa sana. Eh by the way opati ameweza kuzungumza safari yake. Mm. Na pia nimejifunza mengi kana ndio tu pia na kuwa eti tumekaa na studio ni hapa. Mm. Hey, imenigusa by the way. Mm. Ana story nzuri sana. Mm, Lakini like, unajua kwamba kuweza ku, 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 kupata jeraha upoteza mguu wako in line of duty pia. Alafu kwa maisha kwamba unakuja kuisha maisha mbao sababu kwamba mguu wangu umetoka hivyo na yeye nakuisha bila mguu ama kingo kimoja kwenye mwili wako. Ndio wewe na kwa bala kwa lakini once ume accept kama unasema alikubali na ka chukua maisha vile ilivyo ndivyo naam upati uh, asante sana kwa kuweza kutembelea uh, uh, studio zetu za radio 47 na kwa mara nyingine tutakualika maana yake najua tutapokuwa tunapatana na wewe viwanjani na juzi ulikuwa uwanjani nini ilikufanyikia uwanjani hebu nilikuwa ngoja aseme haja sema mbona utuambii kuna kitu ilikufanyikia uwanja uwanjani <laughs> nikakuletea shida usiseme mengi <laughs> lakini kuna watu walikukosea sana uwanjani rafiki yangu upate mengine <laughs> 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 tutasema hewani <laughs> lakini kuna watu walikuudhi sana kule uwanjani <laughs> Watu ambao waliudi rafiki yangu wapati tafadhali. Yeah. Eh shikeni adabu. Upati is a very good man. Hiyo wacha tuachie hapo. Tupatane tena kesho msikizaji takavutimia mida ya uh, saa kumi katika mikiki ya Sport Extra na kuacha na Bamdogo. Eh kuja kuletea mambo. Eh umesema amejiandaaje Bamdogo leo? Unaona ameingia na kikosi hapa anaitwa Manucho the Young Bola. Mm-hmm. Anakuja kwenye masuala ya mitulinga mizuka kwenye Burdan Sato. Mm-hmm. Nimeona kwa na DJ ambaye pia atakuwa kwenye Santori kwa pale kwa kile kwamba anaangusha mitulinga na vile vile masuala ya mapenzi. Mapenzi. Mapenzi moto moto. Msikizaji na kuacha mm-hmm. na Manucho the Young Bola ndani ya Sato. Burdan Sato atakuwa na wewe hapa kuanzia mida ya saa mbili usiku. Tugongane kesho mida ya saa kumi mikiki ya spoti extra. Radio 47 Malindi haba ndipo. Hawata hawata hawataweza hawata hawataweza kukupenda hawata hawata hawataweza 